It's time for the Winter Forecast Battle Royale 2015-2016 edition. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to compare and contrast all of those winter outlooks that have come out in the last few months. We'll find out who's right, who's wrong, and maybe glean a few nuggets of knowledge as to what we can expect during the months of December, January, and February. We're going to be comparing five different forecasts. We have the Climate Prediction Center, AccuWeather, the Weather Channel, the Old Farmer's Almanac, and the Weather Network, which is basically Canada's version of the Weather Channel. Let's begin in the Northeast. The votes were split in this region. Two forecasts, the Climate Prediction Center and the Weather Channel, went with warmer than average conditions. Two forecasts, AccuWeather and the Weather Network, both had right around average conditions. And the Old Farmer's Almanac went with snowy and bitter cold. The Southeast. This was hands down. Everybody agreed. Five out of five forecasts agree. Wet and cool. Moving to the Midwest, four out of five forecasts agree. It's going to be warmer with less snow and rain this season. But one forecast said the complete opposite. The Old Farmer's Almanac is going with snow-filled and frigid. Now in the Northern Plains, Four out of five forecasts again agree. It's going to be warmer and relatively dry. But the Old Farmer's Almanac going with very snowy and a typical winter cold. The Southern Plains, this is where everyone agrees once again. Wet and chilly. In the Southwest, four out of five forecasts agree. Wet and right about average temperatures. Cooler near Texas, but warming up as we move closer to the coast. But one forecast, what do you know? The Old Farmer's Almanac is saying dry and mild, the complete opposite. In the Northwest, once again, four out of five forecasts agree. It's going to be warm and dry, but that Old Farmer's Almanac saying the complete opposite. It's going to be a wet, mild winter. We've been saying it for months that the current El Nino is likely going to be the driving force of this upcoming winter, and most of these forecasts seem to be going with that. The southeast, the southern plains, and the southwest all going with cooler, wetter conditions, while the northwest, northern plains, and midwest are all going with warmer, drier conditions. The northeast is really the only area that's still somewhat up in the air, but nearly everybody agrees. It'll likely be average to above average as far as temperatures go, and we'll probably see a nor'easter or two, maybe even three. This is winter, after all, but it likely won't be as bad as what we have seen in the past. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel, and Comment below on what you think this winter is going to look like. Go ahead, talk about the Siberian snowpack.